Hello, my name is Sin Bagley, and today is April 18th, 2022. I'm doing my daily I Ching practice with Paul O'Brien's Visionary I Ching. First, I'll take three deep breaths. Now I'll cast the coin six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm using a Google's app. That's why I'm saying Paul O'Brien's Vision at I Ching. It's one of the easier ones to use if you don't know how to uh, read or cast the coins. The first hexagram is uh, the present, which is 18, repairing the damage. And I'll read the changing lines on this one. Everyone makes mistakes. And most people want to correct them, but only the wise know when to stop trying. What's done is done. You cannot unring the bell. Even so, it is better to be too energetic in trying to rectify past errors than to have no conscience at all. Just be mind mindful of when the effort surpasses the deed. Do not get trapped in the past. Uh, interesting. And the future, which is number four, is hexagram youthful folly. Oh, well, this is going to be fun. When I think of youth, youthful folly, I think of beginnings, too. Be on guard for the careless or rebellious attitudes, characteristics of inexperience. Just as youth requires instruction, this is a good time to focus on learning lessons from a patient teacher or from life experience. Is there a circumstance in your life that you have failed to comprehend perhaps because you don't appreciate its inherent complexities. Um, a clue to that is, uh, do you go through the same experience over and over again with different people or different, but it's always the same type of experience. Be respectful of anything or anyone who has something to teach you right now. If you're focusing on a relationship, ask yourself which of you is currently the student and which of you is the sage. If you're a parent, ask yourself, who is being the teacher, my child or me? In order to be ready for challenging times, let education be an ongoing part of your life. Develop the necessary mindset and willpower to carry you through confusing times. The wise realize that experience, especially difficult experience, is, most, is a most powerful teacher. But we cannot be forced to learn even from experience. Be the humble student who delights in learning, the one who nourishes in expanding and awareness. Examine your attitude for factors that would limit your openness. Observe how you deal with the mistakes of others. Let people live their own lives and learn their own lessons. Um, that's a very interesting thing because you cannot, you can, uh, there's an axiom that I used to hear a lot in my from my grandfather. He used to say, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. And that's true. You may offer them a wisdom or advice, but do so only if they are receptive. Give up trying to convince others that you're right. It is both exhausting and counterproductive. Instead, allow others to proceed, even into difficult or dangerous circumstances. It may be the only way they can learn. And without learning, no one can achieve success. Care without forcing attention, trying to take care of someone who is unwilling can be actually can actually be harmful. Live and let learn. Well, that's got a lot of interesting lessons in there. So today's Monday. It's a beautiful day here. Lots of sunshine. I hope you have a great day.